This week is Fungal Disease Awareness Week, and many doctors across multiple publications agree cases of mold illnesses are growing. Now, those can cause infections, allergies, or even more serious issues. Dr. Lauren Tessier joins us now. She's a naturopathic physician specializing in patient recovery from mold-related illnesses. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for having me, Galen. Now, I know this is probably broad, but why do you think we're seeing these cases increase? That's a great question. So. We have to take a step back and consider that uh, fungal diseases may be on the rise simply because we may be developing antifungal resistance from overuse of antifungals in the medical community. Each year we also spray our crops with hundreds of thousands of tons of antifungals called azoles, which are very similar to the class of drugs that we use in the medical field, also known as azoles. And so we see an increase in resistance there, kind of um, transitional from the agricultural industry to the medical industry. And then there's also the the home environment. Ever since the 1970s, we've been building buildings tighter and to, to um, save money on energy and have some energy efficiency. When we do that, though, we decrease ventilation, we increase trap moisture, and when that happens, it's a breeding ground for mold. So because of our current building standards, there's also an upswing in mold in um, living environments and buildings and schools, you name it. A lot of double-edged swords there. Yes, absolutely. So for the everyday person at home, we understand treatments are broad. Mm -hmm. However, prevention is also important here. What are some ways that people can maybe insulate their homes from fungus but let it air out? Right, that's a really good <laughs> question too. So um, people should be uh, very much aware of letting their house breathe and some of the warning signs that your house might not be breathing and having enough air exchanges per day is you might see sweating pipes, you might see water staining on the walls, you might see paint peeling away from the walls, almost that bubbling effect. Um, there's there's a lot of different things that can happen. Also, in general, when you smell that musty smell when you walk into a space, that is almost um, guaranteed that you might have some type of fungal issue growing there. What are some misconceptions about the illnesses people may contract from mold like that? That's another great question. So. I think since the um, advent of a lot of the immune compromising illnesses that have happened over the time between the HIV and AIDS epidemic and um, cancer, a lot of people have heard, well, fungal infections are only for those who are immunocompromised, meaning they don't have a healthy immune system. However, we have seen increased um, case prevalence of people who are immunocompetent, meaning that they have otherwise healthy immune systems um, who are becoming sick with not only just common uh, fungal infective species, but also ones that are found in the indoor environment that are rare to infect humans. Now, some of the symptoms can be common, like they almost seem like allergies. What is the best approach if you are feeling something, don't know what it is, mm -hmm. and how do doctors confront that? Yeah, that's a great question too. So uh, when you're taking into consideration whether or not you've been impacted by fungus, one of the um, biggest symptoms that I see in my practice are uh, neurocognitive things. So a lot of brain fog, a lot of fatigue. Well, gee, I feel really good here, but once I go into this space, I have a headache. I can't concentrate. I can't do anything. I develop myalgia, so muscle pain. Um, and so what we see is this huge list of symptoms where people will show up to their doctors, they'll have 15 to 28 symptoms, and the physician will say, well, gee, I don't know what's wrong with you. Here's an antidepressant, please move on. And if you ever find yourself in those situations, it's really important to speak with your provider, understand that they do have their best intentions, and say, do you think it could be fungus? I have a moldy home, I have a moldy car, I have staining at the air vents at work. So opening up that dialogue is going to allow your physician to better help you. Well, Dr. Tessier, thank you so much for your time.